responsible for normal pregnancies, work, like booking rooms and sending out news letters. This position, this position is just as important to fulfilling Kasama Hunt's initial commission as is any other. How do your intentions and work as Nisina align with and uphold the four pillars of the
messages with, uh, with the spaces already being booked, if they were to be reached out farther uh, later. Um, and I think that, like, the DCL requires to be um, just like commu with communication. Like, they should be communicating with the other directors frequently <laughs> and asking that, like, being accountable for themselves and reach out to other people on their own time and instead of waiting. Okay, um, sorry. I think I understood. Sorry, I, it's been a bit since I created, but I think I digested it right. Um, so, I mean, just to like, I think I don't want to. Um, honestly, like, I agree. I'm uh, reaching out early um, to reaching out early for at least at a basic level the date you want it on and like how big of a space you want. That's all, like, that's all I need. Like, we can get to, like, how, like, what your setup is and stuff like that later on. I just, I think, um, get, like, coming from an EMGS brain perspective, um, I just need you to tell me the date and the space, and after that, I will assist you in every way possible, and, like, I don't want to put more stress on other eboard members to, like, like, for, like, stressing them out with, like, oh, like, what room, like, oh, EMGS is, like, they, they removed us, blah, 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 blah. Like, I definitely want to um, prevent that, like, that stress. And reaching out and continuously keeping in mind, like, future events um, would definitely, like, help with the, like, the lack, like, not the lack, but, like, the hiccups of communication. Um, because I'll already be thinking, like, I'll be, like, 10 steps ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be, like, 10 steps ahead of you because I'm, like, I want to make sure that all your energy is being put onto like, onto like, like I know like, well, okay, from the perspective of me, I'd be like, I know you're stressing out about your event, about how you're going to properly present yourself and everything. Like, I don't want you to stress out about um, like, the possibilities, like the logistical possibilities or like, nervousness. Um, yeah, sorry. I didn't really that. But yeah, definitely just like, definitely just like keeping in mind that I logistically need to support people, um, and that I can't expect um, automatic response. Um, there are many complications and miscommunications when it came to booking rooms in general for Kusamaha but specifically with PCM practices. Oftentimes, we had to move practices or scramble for a space. In this instance, what could you do to support the directors who have booked the space and notify membership of these changes? Um, okay. Um, so, honestly, knowing how, like, room confirmations work, um, I would know whether or not we have a room that we wanted, like, weeks in advance. Like, they send out, they said, like, and I think the hiccup this, um, year was because, like, we didn't really have someone looking out for those confirmation emails. Um, but I definitely would, like, have very open communication with the MGS because I, so, newsflash guys, I work there! <laughs> um, I would be very, I'd be very communicative about it, and I think, um, being in that position gives me, like, it's, I'm really lucky to be in that position because that puts Kasamahan into the conversations of, like, being moved within space. And I can advocate for us to be like, I know this huge department has a meeting, but we've had this space for months and we can't move it day of um, because that's unfair to us. And I definitely want to present, like, our voice and our existence, especially at, like, department levels at USF that probably don't really put us into consideration because we are like a student org, even though we're the biggest org, you know? So, yeah, definitely, I definitely, just out of experience, I'd have a, I'd have, I'm sorry, I'd have, I'd have an eye on it already, <laughs> but for sure, yeah. I agree with Eliza. I'm also a chronic email checker, so, and I also just love checking websites, even though I know nothing probably changed, but trust, I will be looking, um, and Honestly, I, um, I feel like I 
would be very good at monitoring our bookings and making sure they're up to date. And there have if there are last minute changes, say maybe like a few days beforehand or even day of, um, I would be able to, especially if this is like for FG practices or PCM practices, I would have communicated with the directors of that already about what our plan is for in our rooms we do accidentally get books um, put it out somehow. Um, and I know that a lot of the times we utilize spaces such as the, the Prevet Plaza or the other plaza. Um, but I would do my research into what rooms are usually typically um, open for those spaces and also classrooms. I could look into what classrooms are typically open at what time so we always have a backup plan about what to do if we do get kicked out of our spaces for practices last minute. And like Eliza said, um, I want to be a good advocate for Kasamahan this year. Um, we are like a very large organization and what we do is important and I feel that we deserve to have the proper rooms for our practices to put on what we do and to showcase our culture. And so I would be a strong advocate for us. that we have 
but it's like on a like not on a computer. You can open it on your phone. But like, <laughs> but like that's just another like that's just another branch of how people can engage with our organization. And I definitely want to open that up. Um, and also Slack, yeah, Slack, Slack. We love Slack. Um, but definitely utilizing the um, year Slacks because I feel like that is easy. That is a more digestible way to take information. Um, rather than just be like, oh my god, like, a hundred, not a hundred, we never get a hundred, but like, oh my gosh, like, twenty people just, like, reacted a heart emoji to this, like, should I react to, or should I read through it? So it's definitely, like, giving members, like, a more personalized experience with outreach. Um, but yeah. We're so early, like we're gonna get everything done. 
like, and so implementing those soft deadlines and really, like, and really being, like, strict with the soft deadlines. Like, I'm like, this is a soft deadline, but I still want you to try to get it done, you know? Um, and really keeping that open communication and just, at the end of the day, like, we're trying to get a really beautiful event done for, like, membership and stuff, and, like, the closer, the, sm the more small goals that we meet, the closer we are to this awesome event that we can enjoy. So, yeah, that's definitely something that I